Okay, this is a little video about uh, structures of organic com compounds. Very basic um, structures, starting from the very beginning. Now, when we uh, draw a display structure of um, a compound, um, if we take any organic compound, um, or a hydrocarbon, for example, <clears throat> We're always talking about carbon with four bonds. And carbon always has four bonds. At least when it's uncharged. Now, if I were to draw something like this, and this compound has one, two, three, four, five carbons in the long chain. I'll give another video about naming compounds later. But that is called pentane. And one of the things that you will notice here is that the, the angles, or what appear to be the angles between the bonds, appear to be 90 degrees, but they're not. This is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object. Now, what that means is that you can write this five-carbon chain in a lot of different ways, and you're still talking about the same thing. So, for example, I could write it like this one two three four five and it's still the same molecule if I write it like this it's still the same molecule because all that I'm doing is just kind of rotating the carbons around and, and therefore you've got to take a bit of care when looking at these uh, at these molecules so the very basics, two, three, four, five carbons like that, gives you the straight chain molecule. But then what we can do is we can then start thinking about isomers, chain isomers in particular, where we change the carbon chain in some way. Now, the best way to, to do this is to try and be systematic about it. So, for example, what we can do here is take the fifth carbon away from this chain, and that will therefore leave us one, two, three, four carbons, and see where we can put that carbon on the rest of the chain. Well, one place that we could put it is there. Another place that we could put it is there. Another one is there. And another one is there. But all of those are exactly the same. Because what you can hopefully see is that what we have, in fact, is four in a line in each case. And on the second carbon in, in each case, we've got a carbon branch. Now bear in mind that I'm just showing the carbon skeleton with, uh, with these. So um, once we've drawn the structures, we always have to remember to add the hydrogens as well. So if all of those are exactly the same, then we can only take one of them as our isomer, our structural chain isomer. Now that means that we've only got two isomers at the moment one two three four five in the first carb in the first chain one two three four plus one in the second we can't do any other arrangements because remember that if i have something like one two three four five that is still five carbons in a row you've got to forget about the angle. Imagine that you are walking along that carbon chain. Um, all that you would see is five carbons in a row. So therefore, we've got two so far. The only thing that we can do now is to take another carbon off the main chain and see what we can get. So what we'll have is one, two, three carbons. And we've got two carbons to add that to that chain. Now, as I've said, what we can't do is add a carbon there 
at the end and we certainly can't add a carbon there it looks completely different from all the others but again watch what we are doing we've got four in a line in a line and on the second carbon in we've got a branch and you can see that that is exactly the same as the one that we've got above so that's no good so we can get rid of that the only possible thing that we can do is take one carbon in the middle and another carbon in the middle like that and there we have our three structural isomers that we can have for this particular molecule